1936. August 17, 1936, Paoli, Indiana. Margaret Elaine Heafield is born. She attends local schools until she moves with her family to Michigan. In school, she excelled in all subjects. However, she had a keen interest in mathematics. She graduated from high school in 1954 and enrolled in classes at the University of Michigan in 1955. Margaret worked hard in college and shortly transferred to Earlham College in Indiana, where she received her bachelor's degree of mathematics in 1958 and began teaching high school mathematics. She also got married and changed her last name. Her husband, shortly after their marriage, decided to pursue a law degree at Harvard. They both moved to Massachusetts, and while her husband studied law, she got a job at MIT in order to support her family. She told her husband that she wouldn't be some Harvard law wife who sat around and poured tea. And at MIT, she started her career in programming, beginning with working on dedicated weather detection systems. She worked on computers that could track and predict weather formations based on radar data. However, as many successful science projects do, hers soon was transformed into a military one. Hamilton began developing radar systems for the U.S. military in MIT's Lincoln Lab. The radar systems she programmed could detect Soviet aircraft, allowing the U.S. to prepare in the event of a military attack. However, she did not only develop military technology, she also worked on MIT's tube computers. It was her work on computers and military technology that led her to a job at NASA in the 1960s, where she was the program's first software engineer, a term Hamilton herself invented. She was one of few women at NASA, and she put in many hours designing the flight computer and building a team of coders at NASA. However, she still had to balance her life with being a mother. She often brought her daughter into work with her. One time, while her daughter was playing astronaut, she accidentally activated the pre-launch procedure that caused a system overload. This made her realize the system needed fail-safes, which she proposed to NASA. However, they rebuffed that astronauts don't make mistakes. She was able to fit the code in, however. The Apollo mission launched into space smoothly on July 16, 1969. Yet, as Apollo 11 began to engage the landing sequence, the system began to overload with inputs. The astronauts had left the radar on. Alarms were going off as an incorrectly phased power system from the radar disrupted the navigation system. The astronauts had made a mistake, and as lights flashed and meters read critical signals, astronauts looked to their control panels. Thanks to Hamilton's priority display, they read a go or no-go option. Margaret's system had reset the computers to a safe place and stalled tasks until the astronauts input a decision. The astronauts clicked go, and Margaret's code saved one giant leap for mankind. Yeah.